Something as simple as installing a ceiling fan or getting cable television could be putting people at risk. Tonight, dozens in Olmsted Falls are homeless after a fast-moving fire destroyed their condo complex. The quality of that building's fire containment, that's now being called into question. News 5's Mike Brookbank in Olmsted Falls first right now. And Mike, the fire chief there tells you this is a pro common problem that could explain why these flames just kept moving through that complex. Yeah, Rob, electricians, cable and internet installers, they breach firewalls all the time by drilling holes into them. They are supposed to seal their access points back up, but is that always happening? When the alarms went off, I grabbed my two-year-old granddaughter and my wife and says, let's get out of here. Luis Castro escaped the inferno that consumed his home. The fire started on the other end, but it just kept coming and coming and coming. The state fire marshal's office tells me the cause has been ruled undetermined and there is no evidence of an explosion or criminal activity. As for the location of where the flames broke out, I'm told the origin was outside the building, in between two units on the third floor. We haven't been able to rule out electrical, mechanical, discarded smoking materials. The 48-unit complex had a two-hour rated firewall made out of drywall. We don't know how it was at the time of the fire, um, but it's not uncommon for that firewall to have been breached. Olmsted Falls Fire Chief Chad Gluss tells me utility companies like phone and cable weaken the integrity of those fire containment walls by drilling holes into them. So it is normal for them to do that, but they are supposed to seal where they go through. Because of the severity of the damage here, investigators cannot determine if this firewall was breached. Gluss explained it as a possibility that it was, which would explain the speed at which these flames spread. A total of 48 units were damaged or destroyed in the three alarm fire, with many residents like Luis Castro escaping with just the clothes on their backs. This is it. <laughs> and my, my wife and my grandkids are all safe. So that's all, that's all that matters. Tonight, the Olmsted Falls community continues to rally around those displaced fire victims like Castro. All day long, we watch people drop off food, toiletries, and clothing here at City Hall. The American Red Cross also on site, providing disaster relief. We're live in Olmsted Falls tonight. Mike Brookbank, News 5.